Today, we're talking about Apogee Wins, our commitment to EU customers, and VM fleet-wide monitoring. I'm Stephanie Wong, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news from the safety of home. APIs let developers easily access, combine, and share valuable data and functionality, helping companies adapt to disruption and reinvent. So partnering with the right API management vendor is critical to building and scaling a successful API program. We're excited to share that Gartner has recognized Google, Apogee, as a leader in the 2020 Magic Quadrant for full lifecycle API management, marking the fifth time in a row we've earned this recognition. In this year's report, Apogee is placed highest among all the vendors for the ability to execute. Congrats, team. In recent months, European customers and policymakers have placed even more emphasis on working with cloud providers to protect customers' most sensitive information. Google Cloud has partnered with them to make significant progress to delivering more capabilities for strict data security and privacy requirements. They reflect three distinct pillars of data, operational, and software sovereignty. Read Thomas Kurian's announcement in the blog post to learn more. You can now monitor your Compute VM fleet's health altogether. The new single pane of glass infrastructure summary dashboard lets you see aggregate fleet-wide statistics at a glance and provides insight into the top VMs for a select group of key CPU, disk, memory, and network metrics. Jumpstart your troubleshooting, no setup required. Check out the blog post to learn all about it and try it out for yourself. Finally, the Director of Product Management of Artificial Intelligence has just announced that PyTorch XLA support for cloud TPUs is now generally available. This means PyTorch users can access large-scale, low-cost TPU hardware accelerators using a stable, well-supported PyTorch integration. Google Cloud supports a growing set of open-source implementations of widely used deep learning models and associated tutorials. Check out our post for tutorials and how to get started. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. Any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us. We'll see you in the cloud.